Hey, what's going on, y'all? Knowledge here coming at y'all. Um, today marks the three-year reunion since we lost probably the greatest entertainer of all, you know, all time, Michael Jackson. And um, you know, as I think back on this guy's career, you know, we'll, we'll never see another Michael Jackson. You know, all we can do is, is tell our kids about him, and you know how how great he was. Now, um, you know. Michael Jackson, and to this day, is still going on. Michael Jackson faced a lot of, you know, uh, uh, false allegations, you know, all kind of hate from not only, you know, uh, black people, but, you know, white people, too. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of people say, you know, the brother had a lot of, you know, self-hate or whatever was going on. I mean, that, that might be true to a certain extent, but look at what this guy's been through. You know, his father took away his childhood, even though, you know, it might have made him, you know, who he is today and, and, and a legend. But at the same time, a childhood is something you can never get back again. But, you know, he faced a lot of adversity. And, and to this day, you still got cats coming out the, uh, the, 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 the Will Worth just, oh, well, he did this to me and Michael Jackson did this. And then you had one joker after he died. One of the little kids that said he had so-called molested him came out and said he was lying. It wasn't true. <laughs> and, you know, I ask myself sometimes, like, why do we tear people down while they're alive? And then when they die, they pass on. All of a sudden, we want to cherish them. It's like people people don't, don't have any self-worth while they're alive. But when they die, all of a sudden, they become this gold mine. And it's an old saying, you know, why don't, why don't we let our loved ones smell the flowers while they're alive why why do we give them flowers when you know they in the coffin and you know that, that's a real legitimate statement because people just don't appreciate what people do and who people are and what they bring to this society until they're dead and gone but uh you know i just want to say you know um, rest in peace of michael jackson you know he, he's, he's one of my favorite artists of all time you know, I can remember being a little kid, you know, in my PJs trying to do the moonwalk and shit, busting my ass on the kitchen floor. You know, I, I remember all that, and, you know, and his videos and how iconic he was. And, you know, I think all of our artists today can learn something. It don't matter whether you do country, hip-hop, rock, R&B, you know, alternative rock or whatever. Everybody can learn something from Michael Jackson about pushing the envelope and perfecting your craft and doing something different because I feel like you know as an A&R I feel like you know I see a lot of artists that are just you know throwing up the same shit that we've already seen there's no originality and when you look at somebody like a Michael Jackson this is somebody that touched people all over the world and was iconic in what he did and was original there would never be another thriller video there would ne never be another icon iconic dance move like the moonwalk. And a little history on the moonwalk, how he um, learned how to do that dance is he was um, he went to Venice Beach one time and he saw some little kids out there doing the moonwalk and he went home and practices practicing and that's how you know he ended up coming up with that dance move. You know, it's just a little mini little history lesson. And you know, I hear a lot of people talk about the, the little joint he did. Uh, I think it was in a smooth criminal video when, you know, all the guys leaned forward. And I remember I was on, on Facebook and I, um, Jaleer Ireland had put something up. And, you know, a lot of people don't know that. What it was is they had magnets on the back of their heels. So at that moment when they had to perfect that, that dance move, there was a monitor under, under the stage that would connect to their magnets. So when they leaned forward, nobody would fall over. Now, you might say, okay, well, that takes away from the dance move. But... What the real talent was is that all of his dancers, including himself, was on point at the right moment for them to perfect that move. And that's one of, you know, his greatest moves, too, you know. But that's just a little something, you know, a lot of people are curious about that dance move. And, you know, I did the, the history and the, and the homework on it. And, you know, I found out exactly how they did that. But, um, you know, again, rest in peace to Michael Jackson. We'll never have another one. You know, y'all can try, but... <laughs> I doubt if you reach, you know, his, his level, you know, you might get close, but just the, the memory of that guy will forever live on. But I'm out, y'all comment, rate, subscribe. Peace of Michael Jackson, man.